Hello, uh, uh, somebody asked me how I can get uh, truck driver li- truck driving licenses in the United States, <coughs> in, in, uh, in, in Minnesota anyway, the requirement to get a CDL licenses. A lot of people want to get a CDL licenses and they don't know where to go and how to get it, what document is required. Whether you need to be a citizen, you need to have a citizenship. You need to have uh, whether you have to have a green card, or you need to have uh, a work permit. What what kind of stuff that are needed if you're if you're let's say uh, somebody who's living in the United States who was not born in this country, but this is the uh, the job that they wanted to get into. And I'm going to give you the answer because I, at some point in my life, was working in various jobs and I got the CDL. And I'm also a foreign person that didn't have, uh, it, I didn't have a uh, green card. I didn't have uh, a citizenship. And I got, uh, I got the CDL. So first thing you have to do is, three, is a couple things. First, you have to get a uh, work authorization first <laughs> trying to get it to so the work authorization get the work authorization that's first right second you need a study for the test uh, the third a uh, go to the DMV and take take the take the permit test and then find the school where either pay for the school or find a program where they will normally uh, what happen is they will pay for your school in exchange. They, the company, the trucking companies, big trucking companies like CRST, CR England, Primes, Swift, mo- most of them, they have a, a program or a school where they will pay for your school in exchange for you to work for them in a low, low wage. They will pay you half of whatever they pay the drivers. A lot of times it's like uh, maybe 20 cents for 10 months. In exchange, they will pay for whatever the school uh, require. You know, the school, and most of them, five weeks, you go there, you study, uh, and then you take the test using the school vehicle, school trucks, and then they are self-certified uh the school is self-certified which is they have uh, trainers that are uh, are certified to give uh, licenses so i'm saying that they have just like a doctor have a licenses to to teach and other doctors uh the school uh, can give you the licenses and then you take that licenses work for the company that pay for your school in a contract which is normally 10 months or for one year you pay for you work for them but remember uh once you get the license the license is given to you issued to you from the state whatever state you that whatever state that you're living in the school teaches you the skills that you need and then give you the little certificates that says this guy is good to go. Just like going to regular car driving school where they give you the permit. You take this permit, go to the DMV. The DMV will give you the license. The license cannot be taken away when is, when is you when is you got when is the state gives giving it to you. I'm saying the the company cannot take a license away from you. Only the state can do that through violation of whatever you know if you, if you you know if you have a d d u i or or some other law violations but the states or the company i'm mean, i don't know no, just the company cannot take away your licenses just because you have a contract with them and decided that this is not a good contract and maybe uh, walk away from the contract they can't do nothing to you that's one point because a lot of people scared that if I leave this company they're gonna take away my licenses and uh, such nonsense 
Uh, normally, you gotta remember that the working condition of these companies are terrible. That's a whole another story. Let's complete this uh, process. That so you need a work permit, right? Try to show you what I what I mean by work permit. Uh, it's gonna look like this. In the United States, if you're a foreign person, you need something like this. Uh, let's type in, uh, let's type in the I-765. I I-765, you see this is a USCIS government website. And let's, so, this is a employment authorization, right? This allows you to work in, in the United States legally. Nobody can hire you. The school cannot teach you if you don't have this uh, this work authorization. The company will not give you a contract and pay for your school if you don't have this. So first thing you have to do is apply for this, and uh, you will you will get it. Normally, if you're in the United States legally, government cannot hold cannot not allow you to work that's just the way it is you know you can't hold somebody hostage either you get you send them home if they stay in here legally you have to allow them to work even if you wait in deportation they will have to allow you to work okay if you don't know this go to any immigration law office they will help you uh, so get the work permit right uh, Apply for this work permit. Normally, you should be able to receive this uh, something back from immigration after 30 days, and then uh, study for the test. Uh, whichever state you're in, I don't know which state you're in, but it, you know, go to this website. Well, type in so you know what you, what, whichever state you're in. I'm in Minnesota. Uh, I can go MN or I can go anything. You know, like maybe let's say Iowa, right? Iowa and uh, drive test and it should be exactly uh, identical it should be dash and then This is Iowa, and uh, the test is very much similar in every state. You and and you, you need it. You need it's a forty question. This this is just for uh, general. Let's click on. I'm gonna show you for for the CDL, right? This is an Iowa. This is for Iowa, and you go onto this website. What you need is. Uh, you can also, this is a practice test, okay, and so air, airbag, general knowledge, I don't know, for some reason it's not, it's not, a, it's not working for me, go to Iowa, one more, airbag, okay, and then this is gonna be CDL diagnostic test. Should just be general knowledge. So let's just explore, go down here. So what you need here is airbag test. Airbag, general knowledge. They also have it in Spanish too, you see that? Which is uh, awesome. General knowledge. So let's assume you're taking the test, you click on that. And then uh, 50 question, you can take, you can get 10 of them. You're allowed to have 10 mistakes, 80% passing score. So, 
uh, this is what it looks like if you're confronted by an aggressive driver you should call the police from your cell phone if you can do it safely avoid eye contact ignore road, road gas and refuse to react negatively all of the above right and then it goes on and on and on like this how how long does it take typical truck trailers to clear double lane truck it doesn't really matter uh, if you get it right or wrong uh, more than 30 seconds it shouldn't be more than 30 seconds it should be like something like maybe 14 15 seconds wow that's a lot which of the following statement about re retarder is correct you turn the retarder off whenever the road is icy this is basically a uh, uh, air, uh, the brake you know like engine brakes help slow vehicle reduce the need for braking if you have your driver wheels or your direction the retarder may close I think it's all of them correct anyway so you take this test practice and then one is you you're good with this uh one is you good with with this practice test you think you sufficiently have enough skills to to get your uh to take your test go to the dmv by by this time i assume you get something back from immigration you have your work permit or green card or whatever and then one is you have your permit go to school find school preferably free where the company for example I went to CRST in my state I was it was very hard I was working for uh, government welfare office at the time and uh, it was an, it was not easy to find a company that will that will sponsor for uh, you have to be one of the requirements is that you have to be like homeless completely you know low incomes and all that nonsense uh, uh and otherwise you pay for the school hoping that you're gonna you're gonna pass the test passing the test is also is uh it's better to go to school i'm gonna tell you one thing it's better to go to the school where uh the company is paying for your expense the reason is if you go to school and pay out of your pocket a lot of these trainers you know the trainer is the one that decide whether you you fail or you pass the test some companies i'm just assuming assuming i've seen this all the time they have the budget where they have they need x amount of money every week or every month so by failing you they make more money than by by you having to to go go on and passing the test if they they will fail you and they offer you half half off on the second on the second round let's say you do all you do everything correct you already pay them your money they will be thinking okay so let's fail this guy and then offer him to hang around for another 30 days 3500 you already you know, they already take the 3500 or 4000 whatever the, the amount may be and then they will offer you to train you again for 1500 if you want know to say make a little bit more money for them and this is uh, you don't have to deal with this if you if you have a company pay for company sponsor uh, company sponsor <clears throat> if you have like a company sponsor uh, school where the company is covering your expense you are there and they will uh, if, if you if they you know they, they either fail you completely or they will you know they if you what I'm saying they don't they're not gonna play with you as if, if you're individually going solo they can play with you and I've seen this uh, I'm just assuming Nobody ever come out to me and say, you know, this is our this is our plan. <laughs> I haven't watched any any of their gathering or meeting meeting that where they have a discussion. This is the plan that they have in place. But it's, it seemed to me, I'm seeing incredible amount of incredible student people who can drive like awesome. You know, 
shifting the trailers and or you know manual trucks and they fail they fail three four five times why because they have issue with the trainers or the trainer have issue with where I'm uh, all I'm saying is I don't want to spend a lot of time on this just get a company to sponsor you uh, uh, I'm talking about trucking companies to sponsor you and uh, and then you you get your you take your license and uh, work for them for whatever amount you know ten months or a year contract you sign that paperwork saying hey I'm gonna work for you for ten months in exchange for paying the license and the school for the school school expense a company normally this is a requirement for them. We pay for your school, you work for us for 10 months or for a year. And that's, that's that. And uh, and there's nothing that requires you to stay with them for 10 months or for whatever amount. The contract. You, can't, you can always walk away from them. I'm saying, whatever the consequence may be, once you get your license, you don't have to stay with the company. And that's, uh, I don't know if you have any questions. Uh, so let, you're immigrant, if you're already born in the United States, all you really need to 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 get a permit, well, to get a uh, to get this uh, CDL permit, is to go to, go to the DMV with your licenses, with your social, and with your uh, birth certificate. But if you're not uh, if you don't if you're not born in the United States, then you, they they're gonna require you to have something uh, from immigration green card, citizenship, passport. I'm going for the lowest denominator uh, on this. Lowest denominator meaning that somebody who just got to United States a year or two, you don't have, maybe you don't have green card. Green card requires you to be in the United States for five years. And apply for work permit immediately. It doesn't matter what your status is. As long as you're no restricted from working in the United States. I know some students are required to work. I mean, not required. Uh, they have to go to school. They cannot work more than 20 hours or whatever the, the case may be. Even those students, they can still apply and get a work permit as long as they have authority to work in the United States. They're not restricted you know, by any means. And how you get that uh, uh, work permit? Apply. Apply for the work permit. Uh, I-765, you need to get this. I-765. Normally, normally it will take, uh, from my experience, I apply for it all the time. You know, it expires every year. But remember, when you work as in, in the trucking industry, you make a few thousand dollars a week. So, you you do two thousand dollar a week for entire for a year you have you're looking at like eighty seventy eighty thousand dollars and uh, you don't mind if applying for it all the time or you can uh, you know apply for a green card or whatever the case may be but this is you don't need a citizenship or you don't need a green card to get a, a CDL you can get a CDL just with the work permit. With your driver licenses, with your uh, uh, you know social security, and uh, of course you're gonna have to do DOT. There's something called a DOT card, which is nothing. Basically, the uh, DOT DOT card, medical card. It's called DOT medical card. It is nothing. Anybody can get it. Medical medical card, not media. So. Uh, the idea of the medical car, uh, uh, the DOT medical car is they want to make sure that you're healthy. You don't have a high blood pressure. You're not crazy. Because you have, it's like a driving a, a train. When you're driving a truck, it's like a driving a train. 80,000 pound, huge. You know, and it's like, so they want to make sure you're physically fit. Holy shit, I think froze is on. 
they want to make sure physical examination make sure they just want to make sure that you're physically fit you're not impaired in any way you're not you know your hand is working your feet is working your eyes is working and uh and your eyesight they're gonna test it's one of those like eye exam with the numbers you can you know, all the letters on the wall you stand certain distance away you, you read the sign and it's easy anyone can get it okay there's you know you can see a lot of uh, people if, if no one can get it you won't you won't see a lot of truck drivers on the road so you get you need this uh dot physical you don't need it for the permit but you need this when you are getting the actual cdl so you this this is one of those you need and I uh, also see I'll say slip uh, if you, I, I highly recommend that you don't volunteer any medical information when you go get your physical when you go get the DOT if you have a high blood pressure whatever you have whatever you've been doing to take to get that high blood pressure under control that's what you need to do but don't don't volunteer saying that you have a high high, high you know high, high blood pressure don't volunteer that you have uh, medical condition because some medical conditions will el eliminate you from ever being able being from ever cons uh, be considered driving a, a truck if you have uh, high blood pressure a, they will not allow you to get the CDL uh, I have a friend of mine he was very excited to get to go to get to the to get a CDL. He was very excited to get a CDL, and he went he went through all the process, he got his permit, went to school, and he went to school in a different state. He went to Iowa, and which is a distance away from from uh, from this this area. And when they ask him, the first thing. When you when he gets into the school, they they have a hotel where they pay for the student to stay, and in the morning he was asked to go take the drug take the physical test, physical test combination of doing they will take the drug test, uh, and they will also do a physical test, and they will ask you all kind of medical questions, and uh, one of the medical question is if you have any medical conditions uh, like a uh, sleep issue with the sleeping high, high or low blood pressure and unfortunately <clears throat> he happened to have a high blood pressure where he's taking insulin insulin for it and they automatically reject him you have to go home this guy is healthy he was driving a taxi and doing all kind of crazy job around here and uh, if he didn't volunteer that, I mean, it's, it's not of their business. As long as, <laughs> think about it, you've been surviving all this time in your life. You don't need somebody to tell you whether you can do something or not. As long as you can get those things, those medical conditions under control, whatever you've been doing for the last whatever, how many years you've been living with that condition, you don't need it, that to, to destroy your dreams. So medical conditions... Don't share it with, with with them when you do a DOT. That's that's just 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 my recommendation. If you want to get the CDL. So if you have any question, let me know. I also the schools. Once you have the permit and everything, the schools that will pay for your uh, that will pay for your school uh, and the trucking company. One of them that I know that will for sure will do that is CRST. CRST, go to CRST in Iowa, uh, Google it, CRST, headquarters is in Iowa, preferably they have two different schools, one run by their company in Iowa, the other one, they have it in all over different states, but I'm just telling you the one I went to, they have two options there, one, you go to their school, uh, that is run by them, by their people there in Iowa, or you go to another school that they will send you to, they will send you to, I don't mean to point the fingers, I'm just, I use my hand to talk a lot. They will send you to the college, Hakai Community College. 
they have uh, they teach truck trucking uh, truck drivers in motorcycles and, uh, and a whole bunch of stuff which is part of the college they will pay for yours for your hotel for your ride to go to school every day and the company have nothing to do with it they only pay the money for the school to teach you the school the professional uh, the school part of the school they teach you and uh, it's much 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 better I'm telling you then uh, the company that's run by the by CRST in Iowa so if you go if you are looking for company that uh, that pay for the school expense for you to go and get your CDL uh, look into the CRST as well I may have I may include their uh, information on on the description after I post this video if you have any question let me know I'm kind of tired today uh, I may have forgotten some things but uh, if you can if you think of some things uh, about this subject uh, let me know uh, otherwise until next time have a, enjoy your weekend